Hi, thanks for joining us and welcome to another edition of babywoop.com with me, Alicia. Approximately 15% of couples are in Brazil. This means they aren't able to conceive a child even though they've had frequent unprotected sexual intercourse for a year or longer. In about half of this couple, male infertility plays a role. When couples prepare for pregnancy, they may focus only on the women's health. However, women alone do not account for a couple fertility. Men also need to ensure that their sperm are healthy. Despite the relative importance of infertility, due to the male, infertility evaluation has traditionally focused on women. Because women tend to seek gynecological care and because men are often reluctant to seek advice. We all know that sperm have a very demanding role to play in fertilization. The journey sperm undertake on their way to fertilize an egg has been likened to a human trying to swim a journey of several thousand kilometers. Healthy sperm and aerobus sperm count improve your odds that single sperm will survive this ultra marathon journey and meet an eligible egg. So giving your sperm a healthy makeover prior to conception makes sense for every couple trying to have a baby. Male infertility is generally due to low sperm count, low sperm motility, misshapen or immobile sperm, or blockages that prevent the delivery of sperm. Research shows that modern lifestyle, together with exposure to pollutions and other stresses, can put a man's sperm health at risk. Moreover, fertility reflects a man's overall health. Men who live a healthy lifestyle are more likely to produce a healthy sperm. Male infertility signs and symptoms may include the inability to conceive a child, problems with sexual functions, for example, difficulty with ejaculation or difficulty maintaining an erection, pain, swelling or a lump in the testicle area, decreased facial or body hair, or other signs of a chromosomal or hormonal abnormality, and having a lower than normal sperm count. Your, your sperm count is considered low when there are less than 15 million sperm per millimeter of semen. While there are various medical treatments available for male infertility, such as surgery, hormone medications, and assisted reproductive technology or ART, these procedures are costly, risky, as well as invasive. In addition, none of those medical procedures are foolproof, meaning there's always chance those expensive and risky methods will end in failure. Fortunately, Men can take simple steps to be in the best physical condition to conceive, and that's where the male fertility plan comes in. Proper nutrition, a wholesome lifestyle, and stress management contribute to creating healthy sperms. Sperms require adequate building blocks, meaning there should be enough protein or amino acids, vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients to create the hormones and enzymes required for sperm production. Poor nutrition can cause abnormal sperm production, aside from decreasing stamina and libido. Take this step starting today for super swimmer sperm. Eat little to no bad fats and more good fats. Eating a lot of saturated fat can reduce sperm counts by 38% and slow the swimming ability of the remaining 62%. Quit smoking. Smoking tobacco is harmful to male fertility. It can cut your sperm count by 13% to 17% and increase the risk of genetic abnormalities. So it's best to quit smoking. When undergoing fertility workouts, limit alcohol intake and if possible, go cold turkey. Alcohol interferes with liver metabolism of hormones including testosterone, alcohol depressed sperm production and hardened arteries including those that supply the testes resulting in diminished testosterone testicular function. And the last thing is exercise. Good, regular workout improve vascular functions and general health. It also helps eliminate toxins through sweat and keeps you lean. Excess fat interferes with the testosterone and causes degenerative effects. There are other steps you can take to help your sperm be in tip-top shape for their coming journey. Be sure to visit babywoop.com for a more detailed and comprehensive explanation on the male fertility plan. That's it for this installment. To join us again next time for our continued discussion on pregnancy and beyond. Please leave a comment, rate my video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is Alicia signing off. Bye!